Today, I tried out the HyperX Pulsefire Haste, which has been attracting some serious attention on YouTube lately. I bought this mouse and decided to try it out for myself, and well, um, it's just terrible. Stick around to find out why. The HyperX Pulsefire Haste is commonly compared to the Glorious Model O. However, it lacks in the Glorious Model O's best strong suits. There's one main flaw with the HyperX Pulsefire Haste. If you look closely, you'll see that in between the left and right buttons where the scroll wheel sits, the center piece comes up to meet the left and right mouse buttons. This gets in the way of your middle finger when butterflying with the left click and your left finger when butterflying with the right click. It makes it extremely difficult to butterfly click with double clicking consistently. It forces you to put your hand into a position that is even more obscure than what it previously was because of the small switches. Drag clicking on the pulse fire haste only works in some parts of the button, and unfortunately, it will only register every once in a while. When it does register, it seems good, but the inconsistency is so bad that you would not want to use this for god bridging, bridging, or clutching. The HyperX Pulsefire Haste does have decent switches when it comes to jitter clicking. However, if you're going to buy the Pulsefire Haste, this is not the reason you want to buy it. And if your main method of clicking is jitter clicking, you don't want this mouse. See, there are much better options from Logitech and Razer. Single clicking does feel nice on the mouse, but when you actually go to a fight, unless you're single clicking, it doesn't feel good. And if you're single clicking, well, I would only buy this mouse for the aesthetics. And to be honest, I mean, they're fine, not the best. In conclusion, the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste is a pretty terrible mouse. And even though people such as Intel Edits have reviewed it with good reviews, they aren't exactly experts when it comes to butterfly clicking and drag clicking. They're more of a jitter clicking guy, and when they saw the switches in this mouse, they kind of got all excited. No offense, but this isn't exactly the great mouse. I would give this mouse probably a 5 out of 10 stars with the Glorious Model O coming in at an 8. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, share it with people, I don't know, tell them to watch it before they buy this mouse, because they, they shouldn't really for any reason. Yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed, bye.